Hello everyone, welcome to Mirazai Toolbox channel. I am here to discuss about the analog IC design flow, uh, basically an information about the tools required, what are the tools required and what are the steps involved in, uh, in designing analog IC. So, so these are the basic steps which can which should be followed for uh, designing one IC in analog domain. First, system specification. This is common in all. It is both digital and uh, analog and mix signal also. These steps is common. Next is a schematic and design entry. We have to design our schematic design, then run simulation, check the whether uh, schematic design is okay or not. If specification met. Then we will go for backend design that is layout and if no we have to again edit our schematic design after that if uh, specification met we have to do layout after that verification should be done trc lbs packs and then post layout simulation post layout simulation if specification met we have to design our iopad frame design else we have to again change our layout IOPAD frame design can be done in the, uh, the tool uh, called Virtuoso layout editor. I will be discussing in the tools requirement slide. Uh, where IOPAD we have to select the IOPAD uh, depending upon your requirement. Uh, in the PDK documentary file, you, uh, you will find the specification of IOPAD. You have to select the IOPAD accordingly. And um, uh, as for instance, for analog IO, we can use analog IOPAD. For digital IO, separate IO pads are there. For uh, power line IO pad is separate. So like that, you have to select the IO pad and design the pad frame accordingly. Then uh, complete your layout with IO pad frame design. Then you run again verification DRC check mainly. Then you have to uh, attach the seal ring uh, given from uh, PDK itself or foundry. Uh, the seal ring can be customized depending upon your uh, die size and uh, then you have to fill your dummy layer to maintain the um, density metal density uh, specification next you have to again run the drc check verification then finally extract the gds2 file with this we can uh, extract our uh, file and we can make our analog ic and um, uh, give this file to the fabrication for final check or if anything is required or not. Next, I will be discussing about the tools. First, schematic design entry and simulation. We can use these tools. Uh, Cadence Virtuoso Schematic Editor, command is Virtuoso, and uh, Cadence Spectra Tool or MMSIM for simulation. Next, for, from Synopsys, we can also use Custom Designer, C Designer, uh, Synopsys HPS Tool for simulation. And um, for layout, ceiling attachment, you can use uh, Cadence Virtuoso Layout Editor, command is again Virtuoso. And um, verification DRC LPS packs, we, we can use Ashura tool for Cadence, from Cadence. Calibre tool from Mentor Graphics, now it's Siemens. We prefer Calibre tool as it, is, it gives precise results. and. Um, in the standard results. Next, post layout simulation can be done using Cadence Spectra tool or MM Sim simulation um, uh, using an analog design environment. Next, uh, Synopsis HPS tool for, uh, for simulation, it can be used. IOPAD frame design, complete the layout with IOPAD frame. These two steps can be again done in layout editor. Verification. DRC check, dummy layer fill, these can be again done using a Calibre tool from Mentor Graphics or Ashura tool from Cadence. And finally, GDS2 extraction can be done, done by, by Cadence uh, Virtuoso console window. So that's all the uh, tools required and analog IC design flow overall. Hope uh, you like this video and it may be helpful for you to start with. Thank you.